barbecue. He is down in Newburgh. Oh, he has a look at where Slick's Big Time Barbecue is putting down some roots, Drew. Yes, this is a big uh, weekend for Newburgh. A big day tomorrow, in fact. Slick's Big Time Barbecue, grand opening of their new drive through There you see, from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. tomorrow, they will celebrate the grand opening of this barbecue operation. And then, starting next week, they'll be open here every day. That is Tuesday through Friday. Every day. <laughs> Dan's like, every day? Drew, I'm not going to be here every day. You're working Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. on those days. So this is all in addition, Dan, to the other barbecue operations you have going on. Explain those, if you wouldn't mind. Well, we do catering. We do special events, uh, charity events. Uh, we have all our sauces and rubs in grocery stores and retail around the, the market. This is all blown up because I remember meeting you about two years ago, and at that time, all you were doing really was producing these Slicks barbecue sauces and rubs, and then you started doing some catering because people wanted your stuff, and now you've got all this going on. What do you think the secret to success has been? I think you just put good food out, and people enjoy it and put smiles on people's faces, and we make the food the same as we would for you or our friends or family every single time. I think that a lot when I go to these restaurants. I think if they just put out good food, yeah. they would do better. Do better. <laughs> we had good food this morning, guys. So much going on here from the, uh, where do you want to start, Steve? How about the, the meatball plate? Delicious. Uh, we've got the barbecue beef sandwich. We've got the ribs. The thing that I really fell in love with, I've never had before, the cold pork breakfast burrito. Then, these two showed up. Representatives of the Newburgh community. Business owners in Newburgh. They also are on the Chehalem Valley uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce board. I've never been to Newburgh for a segment before. Do you believe that, Francisco? Absolutely not. There's no way. Slightly insulted, maybe? Mm, slightly, but not too bad. <laughs> Have you ever seen this segment before in your life? No, sir. Awesome. <laughs> Can't be too insulted when you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but they know good barbecue, and they want it. And I said, you got to earn it this morning. What can you do to earn good barbecue, Kristen? I can hold my leg up by my head. Pardon me? I need to see a visual explanation of what you just said. Do it. My goodness, she's done it. Get her some barbecue. Yeah, yeah you should clap for that. I can't do that. Now, what are you going to do? Um, I'll do a backflip. Yeah, you will not do a backflip. He told me earlier he would do a backflip, by the way. You will not do a backflip. Uh, I'll try. Okay. Backflip at 6.48ish on a Thursday morning for barbecue. Where I come from, that's a backflip. Where I come from, that's a backflip. I'm giving you a 10, considering it's before 7 a.m. Okay, hit the food, and you can hit it too. Tomorrow, the grand opening here in Newburgh. Slicks, big time barbecue drive through 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. Russ and Brenda, we're, not that one, I'm going to take that one home. Russ and Brenda, we're out of time for now. <laughs> Back to you. If we had to do that, we would never eat barbecue. I know. It was that hard to get a bite. I would have settled for that guy just watching our show. <laughs> that would have been exactly. nice. Exactly. No